Good morning, Vietnam. No, no. <laughs> Happy Veterans Day, everyone. Hello. Welcome. I appreciate you for joining me for another video. I understand you could have been anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here with me, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Again, happy Veterans Day. It is Sunday, November 11th, 2018. And I tell you, this damn bear market has more head fakes than a little bit. You guys remember <laughs> a couple days ago, let's say Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, could have been roughly give or take. We had about 200 and just shy of $220 billion in the market. And everyone thought, hey, you know what? This is looking like it is the end of the bear market. I mean, things were pumping really well. People were getting excited. I myself even wanted to say, hey, you know what? This is it. I had rumblings in my my bones that suggested, you know what? This could be it. But um, yeah, the weekend came and all that went down the tube. So we're currently sitting at $211 billion dollars. And the markets are really, really red. We're going to do a video today talking about um, how to really look at a good project. Because honestly, guys, in this bear market, we need to be trying to make every advantage that we can to benefit um, your portfolios. If you are, in fact, involved in the crypto space, I know we have a lot of people who watch who are really just, you know, fans of the space, but they're not really ready to put any uh, monetary assets into it. And I get that. I understand it. Um, it's probably best that you come fully prepared as opposed to just jumping in with two feet and not really understanding anything. So before we get into that video, we're going to take a look at today's biggest gainers. Wax Token is up 12.2%. Maker is up 5.72%. And the thing that when I looked at this earlier today, uh, First of all, Maker is the third biggest gainer today. Moac is the second biggest gainer. But the thing that I thought was really, really impressive is Maker. I mean, I've seen this coin a little bit here and there. I haven't really spent much time looking at it. But I looked at the price today and I said, damn, it's $700 in a bear market? Like, what am I missing? So I clicked on it. You know what? I took a look at it. And, uh, some things that you know i took a look at the market cap and i don't want to get really too you know hung up on market cap because all market cap is is the the value of the coin multiplied by you know the available supply right now if you jump on an exchange and you let's say you let's say a coin is seven cents and you buy a coin for 700 cents well then in a sense haven't you just increased the market cap because you actually bought the coin for way more than what it was going for on the open exchange so this is something to think about. I know a lot of people say, well, this coin's not going to be worth this or it's not going to be worth that because the market cap, in order for it to get up there, the market cap would have to do X, Y, and Z. While I understand the logic, the market caps with coins, they change. So if you look at what a coin's market cap is today, then come back two days later and, you know, if this number up here has changed in a marketplace or if this number has changed and their overall market cap has changed, like those items those variables are dynamic, so they're never just going to remain the same. So they're almost going to grow and contract with what the market is doing. So it's not really an assessment to really get hung up on, or it's not really a uh, an item to get hung up on. You can use it as a baseline if you want to, but I wouldn't hang my hat on it at the end of the day. Yeah, so I was just looking at Maker, and I just said, you know, maybe I'll start looking into this coin because I think in a day and age where we have billions and billions of coins, um... I'm sorry, coins that have billions and billions of circulating supply. Uh, you look at a coin like Maker, and it really only has a million. So I thought that was a little bit different for them to do that compared to, you know, the way that everyone else is going. So I'm not saying invest in Maker. I'm not giving financial advice. All the views and opinions represented on this video of are of my own. So, you know, do your own due diligence. I just want to provide a little bit of a baseline for people to, I guess, work from in terms of figuring out what projects they should get into. So the reason why I wanted to do this video is because there is an article that is going around. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. There's an article that is going around and it's, it honestly, it was, I think it was released in May of this year. So it was released in May. But people are, you know, sending this article around as if it was just released last week. 
and I'm trying to find it here. So it's this one. But even if you look at it, it's, it usually has a flag, a picture of the, you know, the, the national flag of China with a Bitcoin. And I'm really upset I couldn't find it. But if you just look at the headline, it says China calls for lift on cryptocurrency ban after their president gives blockchain speech. What no one ever looks at is the fact that this thing was released in May. It wasn't even released this week. It wasn't even released this quarter. It was released in May. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do, and I'll see if I can, I'm going to do this off screen just in case of the browser that it's not supposed to. No. Um, yeah. So people aren't even looking at this thing as if it was released when it was. I mean, they're, they're posting this. They are circulating this article around as if it were released, you know, November 2018. And... That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video because we are in a place, I feel anyway, we are in a place right now where crypto, I mean, this, we've got to get back to being very, very um, objective. Like the news has to be factual. Like it cannot be whatever you want it to be in order to try and spark movement in the market. I mean, that's not, that's just not the right thing to do. And as investors, people have to be more cautious of what, you know, what they report, what news they, you know, retweet or what they post and, you know, so on and so forth. So that's one of the reasons why I want to do this, because I think a lot of times people are just taking um, advice from people on videos and just kind of FOMO into the projects. And I think it would be a better use of people's times if they actually knew how to research a coin properly so they can make sure that they are buying a sound project versus a shit coin and just hoping that with it being a bear market, when the market returns, the value of that coin goes up as well. And I think we have a lot of the latter going on and not enough of the former. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So if you head to CoinMarketCap, and I like this website because it does a really nice job of compiling a lot of information in one place so you don't have to have uh, 56 tabs open. And we're just going to pick any coin here. Let's say we're going to pick any mini, mini, mo. Okay, we're going to choose Cardano, right? And Cardano, I was actually looking at this chart not too long ago, and I think Cardano was like 13 or maybe 31 cents. Don't quote me on that. And now it's down to like 0 0.07. So if you've been watching Cardano, Cardano you might look at this and be like, wow, this is a really great deal on this coin i should just go ahead and buy it but wait before you do that let's really take a look at what you're getting i'm not saying cardano is a great project i'm not saying it's a terrible project i'm simply saying let's get you to the point where you can understand what you're buying before you buy it right so the first thing you have to look at is i know a lot of people buy on price because they're like oh man this is investment's gonna make me money in the future fair point okay come down here take a look at what the all-time high was you know, when the all-time highs were present, it was like 115, okay? Where are we at today? Today, we're at about 0 0.076204, so about 7 cents. So, just over 7.5 cents. Okay, cool. So, you know where we've been, and you know where we're at, and you know if things return to the all-time highs and the market gets great again one day, you know things could potentially get here, if not greater. Okay, cool. Let's get an idea for what it is that we are building. And even in the price, you can come down here to historical data and it will give you the open, the close, the low and the high for every day. Now, when you're looking at close, cryptocurrency does not have the traditional close, like the stock exchange, the things open from nine to four. These are 24 hours. So what the price was day by day by day by day by day. Okay, so on a 24 hour clock, if you will. You can set custom ranges to say, okay, well, I want to look at what the price may have been from October 12th to November 12th. Whoops. 10, 12 to November 12th. And I know today's only 11th, but cut me some slack. Hit apply, and it's going to develop that set of data for the date range selected. Okay, so you can actually really hone in and get a fine idea for a specific time period that you're looking for. Okay. More importantly than the price, there's a couple things you need to understand. What the volume is over the last 24 hours, what the circulating supply is, what the total supply is. The circulating supply is 25 billion. 
uh, here we are total supply is 31 billion we're pretty close to getting to the max supply so like anything what are some things that could potentially drive this price up scarcity one of the reasons Bitcoin is at the price that it is today is because people understand it's scarcity okay so if people are gonna be staking Cardano if people are just gonna be you know hoarding Cardano whatever they're gonna be doing assume the closer you get to this 31 billion dollar mark or 31 billion coin mark um, perceivably the higher and higher this price can go because scarcity is a variable it's one variable that has an effect on price again moving away from price you need to know what it is exactly that you're buying now one of the reasons why again I like coin market cap is because like I said they do a fine job of compiling all the information in one place so before you watch any video done by any youtuber about this coin you need to go to the website and you need to take a look at it and you need to understand or you need to see if you yourself in plain English understand what the project is about because for where the market is going we're gonna have a lot of people who are not experts and if it's one thing I know about people is people if they don't understand it they either fear it or they don't like it I guess the two are one of the same so if people can't understand what a project is they may not buy into it and if you've got a lot of your money sunken into a project and you're waiting for other people to get in and other people don't understand what it what that project does your money's probably going to be tied up in that project for a long time as no one is probably going to buy it and then you're never going to get the the moon effect that you want and then the lambo day will never come so head to the website and i'm not saying you should be investing in cryptocurrency for the lambo i know a lot of people like it for the technology but i'm simply saying for where this market is going personally i think the more simplistic things are probably the better so head to the website and you're gonna see a few things here right you're gonna to come to the website here you're gonna see you're gonna learn how to get started you're gonna be able to learn more about the product you'll be able to look at the uh, products resources uh, the white paper transparency this is I guess the audit reports that's great and get in touch with the community okay first and foremost come down here to the actual description here and it says and I'll be honest with you I had a hard time understanding what this is it says Cardano is a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project and is fully open source Cardano is developing a smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed it is the first blockchain platform to evolve out of, out of a scientific philosophy and a research first driven approach the development team consists of a large global collective of expert engineers and researchers okay but what is Cardano <laughs> you know what I mean like we have to know what this thing does now I'm sure a wiser person would be able to tell you know they'll be able to read this and tell you you know points a through Z what Cardano is and what this platform is capable of doing but again you want to make sure that you understand it before you even go down that route okay so you say the project all right what well, I want to learn more about the project IOHK Cardano Cardano now I can tell you just from what I know about IOHK IOHK is basically the entity that owns Cardano okay kind of like uh, Ripple and XRP all right so you come down here you're gonna read this and see if you can make any more sense of what the project is and see if they give you any more clues or if they go into greater detail that can help you simplify in basic terms what the project is about okay now I'm not gonna go through this for the sake of the length of the video but assuming that you know you read this and you go through some other parts of the website and you're like okay yeah you know what this does kinda make sense next you wanna do you wanna make sure that this project has legs and what I mean by that is there's constant updates you know they're, they're still working on it. it's not just hey we got the landing page for the website done we're gonna sit back and wait for people to come dump money in our project so what I would do is I would come to back over to coin market cap I'd click the source code and coin market cap is going to have um, a source code tab for some tokens some coins and for others it won't if it's more of a um, I don't know like an operating system if that's what you want to call it but if you can find the source code definitely come to github take a look at the source code and take a look here at the dates and see how active uh, each one of these files are when was the last time they were updated you know what's going on is the beehive buzzing right and if so what files have been updated okay so you can see this one here this is probably like the binary code that makes some elements of 
the project worked it was last updated two days ago here's probably the blockchain it was updated two days ago um i don't know what core really means you can go through the block explorer i believe this is what this is so you can see this project has activity that has been updated fairly recently and again go through these see if you can understand them like if i say okay i want to go look at the chain here right you want to make sure it's like something that's has to do with the project in a very major way you just don't want to say okay well it looks like they updated the header two days ago okay well the header is not really anything important to the project that's just the way the website looks can you understand what updates have been made in the last past few days and if not maybe try and get with um, some members in the social community and ask them hey what is this file on the github and how does it pertain to the project overall because it's probably going to be there people there who understand more about it than you do especially if you're brand new coming in okay um so if you come down here basically this chain it gives you a brief description of what it is and what it does okay so that's a little bit um in reference to what i was just alluding to a moment ago and you can go through that and you can you know okay i want to see what this is some extensions so my Swirkle, they have been factored into factored out into this package for use okay see i don't necessarily know what this means so i might take this description then i might go to cardano and again this is why i like coin market cap and i can say okay well where is the social space for Cardano? okay so i can know i can tweet them directly or i can jump in here to reddit and um this is the official reddit page for the project so i can come over here and I can, you know, um, subscribe, make a new thread, reply to a comment in one of these threads and ask them, hey, what does this mean and how is it essential to the project, right? And get a better understanding. Um, aside from that, see if I can give you a little bit of compare and contrast. All right. This is another one I was looking at here the other day. This is what I was looking at, though. Uh, let's go to the website. It might be. No, that's not it. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so I found it. So here is Harbor. This is a uh, project I was looking at the other night. It says re-engineering private securities with blockchains. Harbor is the most or Harbor is compliant platform for tokenizing private security such as real estate, company equity, investment funds, fine art, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, on the surface, you might hear and say, yeah, you know, that, that's really nice. I mean, I hear about these security tokens, STO offerings are supposed to be like the next wave in cryptocurrency. Oh, Harbor, I mean, this could be something worthwhile. I mean, you look at the website. The website's very, very clean. It's got, um, on the surface, it looks like it provides quite an array of of information it checks one of the boxes that i told you guys about about a moment ago if you read it can you understand what it is in the most simplistic form i read this and i'm like sure you guys basically want to take real estate and other assets and tokenize them so they become highly liquid and people can basically move in and out of them at free will now of course some of that comes from my understanding of security tokens just from doing research but even on the face of this harbor is the compliance platform for tokenizing private security such as real estate uh, company equity investment funds fine art etc etc i understand that so what i would do next is i'd probably go to the white paper and i'd read over the white paper and i check for any irregularities spelling errors um is the english correct if they are in fact an english you know company if they are an american company or basically an english company like the from britain great britain or somewhere like that um is any of the math off so on and so forth because the white paper really needs to be put together with a fine tooth comb to make sure the details are there because as often as we all know the devil is in the details next what i might do is i'd probably go down to the telegram group if you're not a part of telegram you can definitely don't let don't download yes download the app try saying that three times fast you can go to telegram you can download the app for your apple phone or your android phone and you can even view it on the web So I might come here and I might see if they've got any uh, conversations going on. And, yeah, you know, they've got some stuff. It looks like some comments from the admin. 
So I might comb through this and see what exactly people are saying. Next, I'd go to the GitHub. Now, you know this is a GitHub because, again, here is the same logo from uh, the website. And it took me a moment to find this for some reason because I couldn't just Google it. I actually had to uh, jump back into my history and see if I could find it because for some reason it was no longer on CoinMarketCap. And I think that's originally where I'd seen it at. Um, and I'd come here and I'd take a look at the uh, the GitHub, see what updates have been made to the project. And if you look down here, you see, okay, what well, the last project was our token. And basically what it is is a smart contracts for applying regulatory compliance to tokenized securities, insurance, and trading. It was updated on September 24th. Well, here we are, November 11th. What's going on? Now, I understand there could be a couple things here. The first of which could be they're actually waiting to receive compliance from the SEC. But even if I was waiting to receive compliance, uh, a compliance blessing from the SEC, I would probably still be working on other avenues on the project in the event that my SEC application is applied or is approved. I don't have to, you know, catch up. I'd still be working on some things on the back end. And I don't see that here. So for me, that's one of the things that's going to be very, very concerning. The fact that the last update to happen to the project was on September 24th. Um, the next thing I would do is I would jump over to Twitter. Okay, that's not them. Here they are. I'd jump over to Twitter and I'd see, okay, they're following 81 people. They've got 4,600 followers. You know, do they tweet often? I check their social media. I check their Facebook. I check Instagram if they have an Instagram. I check Twitter, LinkedIn, so on and so forth. I try and, again, I'd go back through the white paper and I would see if I can find. The team, okay, so here's all the team members, the board of directors, the advisors, and I would look every single one of these people up on LinkedIn and I'd see what are their credentials, what are their backgrounds, all right? I'd come back over here to Twitter. I'd see, okay, again, they've got 4,600 followers. Who's talking to them? Is their audience really engaged a whole lot? So, I mean, they've got 217 tweets, so it's not really a whole lot of tweets, um, especially if you're looking at Justin Sun. I got tweets every 13 minutes, I swear. And okay, so they got tweets, but no one's really talking back to them. Their audience really isn't engaged. 4,600 people in uh, on a post where you do have some engagement, you only have three comments. Um, and it's you, so it's not even like it's your audience. That's something that's going to be a little bit concerning for me, right? Like, why isn't your audience engaging? Personally, again, if it's me, I see this and I say, hey. Uh, security tokens are going to be very, at least I think they're going to be very, very huge and going to play an integral part in the next uh, bull market. There's going to be a lot of projects that are going to be, I guess, STOs, I feel. For you to be somewhat of an STO platform, how come your audience is not talking about you? Like, I can't be the smartest guy in the room and I understand STOs are going to be huge and nobody else does. Come on, where's your audience at? So just to recap, I would come over here to crypto market cap and i would find a project all right i'd click on it i'd see what's the total supply what's the circulating supply how high has the price ever been where are we at now so at the very least i get a general understanding of potentially where could the price return to and i get it i think personally when the market comes back people are only really going to be investing in um coins that actually have somewhat of a decent use case and there's definitely utility there we're not just going to be blindly throwing at throwing money at coins based on price at least i hope not um but again looking at where the price has been to where it's at now you get an understanding of potentially where things could return to it's not just pure speculation right again then again i'd come over here to the the social tab and i'd see what is their twitter what are they talking about on twitter I'd visit the Twitter, I'd see how many followers they have. If people are talking to them, are they talking to people? Do they tweet often? I'd come over here to the actual official page on Reddit or any other official social page I can find, whether it be Facebook, Telegram, LinkedIn, Instagram, um, what have you. And I'd see, is the beehive buzzing? I'd come over here to historical data. Again, I'd check out some more things regarding price. More importantly, I would take a look at technical documentation again some of these coins is actually going to say github this looks like their white paper i would read a white paper guys honestly if i were you in this bear market i would make it a habit of reading a white paper a night before you go to sleep or maybe in the morning 
wherever. I would read a white paper at night. Maybe you might even be able to find software out there where you can just copy all the text and input it into a audio, you know, speaker. And maybe it's, there's a platform out there where it will read the white paper to you. I don't know. But I would get in the habit of reading at least one white paper every night. Maybe for the first top 50 coins, top 100 coins in there, I might start looking at some of the lower tier ones and try and find a diamond in the rough. Okay. Uh, again, I check out the GitHub if they have one. It's a coin, technical document. Maybe you just go like this. And you search for it on Google and you go to GitHub. Yep, that's it. Can I come down here to the GitHub and I'd see what files they had? You know, do they have? How frequently are they updated? And it looks like this one has a little bit of um, little updates. I mean, this one's been updated a week ago, a little week and a half ago. I mean, obviously, you don't need to update your wallets every other day, but still. Then again, I'd go through these and I'd see what exactly do they mean? What's the purpose for them? And if I needed help, again, I'd come back over here to uh, the social and I'd jump into the official network on reddit and i'd ask a question hey what does this mean and then only after i had done all of that would i actually start looking at videos on youtube to see if what people have found coincides with the information that maybe i have found or the information that i receive from people on the telegram groups or the twitters but most importantly, you want to see if their information validates your own empirical research. It's going to be important. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I know it's been a little bit longer than I originally wanted it to be, but I think we covered some pretty good uh, points in this video. If you like the video, if you found the value in it, please like. If not, instead of giving it a thumbs down, let me know why or what we could have done better. Um, if you are not following us on Twitter, please do so at crypto glenn every now and again we say some pretty fascinating things and every now and again people let us know how they feel about it and guys if you have not subscribed to the channel already please do so uh, i want to thank everyone who has definitely subscribed to the channel even everyone who has left a comment on each one of our videos whether it be positive negative or indifferent it lets us know that you're paying attention it allows us to um, have a place where we can start a dialogue and our end goal here is to you know, make the overall crypto experience better while at the same time possibly calling out uh, some scams that may be prevalent. One here that we had just seen was a Ripple miner. Guys, listen, you cannot mine Ripple. If you see this floating around, please don't fall for it. It could be um, a virus, malware, keylog information. Do not click on anything that says Ripple Miner. Ripple is pre-mined. You can't mine it. You can uh, loan it out on some platforms like Celsius, and we'll be talking about that here in a minute. First of all, for Celsius to even be around in this bear market, I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal um, platform to be on. It helps you earn more Ripple simply by lending yours out. They calculate interest daily. They pay it out weekly. And before anyone's like, that sounds a lot like BitConnect, I thought the exact same thing when I first started looking into Celsius. Then I very, again, doing the research that I just showed you all how to do, um, I learned very quickly that they've already been approved by the SEC. So if you're in the America or the States, that could be something that could potentially benefit you again as we are in a bear market and things aren't really moving all that fast. So why not earn some potential coins on your coins and you can take them out anytime you want so you're not necessarily in any jeopardy of missing a bear market okay uh, again that is not a paid advertisement i just wanted to again share a worthwhile project or a project that i thought to be worthwhile guys again that's going to do it for the video i will see you in the next one like the video if you liked it please comment rate and subscribe if you have not we are slowly 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 approaching a milestone number for our subscribers and we could not have done it without every single one of you that has already subscribed again we greatly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts look for us on twitter look for us on youtube and hit us up on twitter man let's start a dialogue i just want to know what you guys are thinking and uh see if we can lend any more perspective uh to the space till next time guys i'll see you in the next one peace